Now it's time for the most important skill that you can have using dot loop, and that's how to split documents. This will save you a lot of time as a real estate agent. So if you notice down here with our compliance files, we have everything separated out line by line with individual files or forms. So you have your fully executed contract, you have a compensation agreement, you have your seller's disclosure. We do not have everything bunched up as this document that I've uploaded says multiple documents. We don't leave everything in one PDF. And that's because if we need to, for compliance, pull something up, agents have a question about a specific form, we can find that really fast. Or if Trek audits us, we can give them exactly what they need at any time. So how do you split a document in Dolly? Well, you will first upload that document. And remember, add document, you can drag and drop it in, or you can hit browse, it pulls up your computer files. Now, that file has been uploaded. You will click to open that single file. And you can tell here that everything is bunched together in one massive PDF. Well, before you do any changes, before you add signature boxes, initials, text, whatever you need, come over here to File, Split Document. And now you can tell Dotloop exactly how many documents this is and which pages belong to which document and what you want to name each file. It's awesome. So let's go through this example. I've picked a harder example that is a lot of forms. That way, when you do this, it's going to be easier because it's probably going to be about two, three documents versus several, which we're going to go through. So let's scroll through real quick. This is one, pre-approval. This is two. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine documents. All right, so now that I've scrolled all the way down, I've counted nine different documents. I will click nine. And again, this is the more extreme version. Usually you won't have nine documents attached together. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I've split into nine documents, but I need to tell it which pages belong to which file. So there's nine different files it's going to create. So VA FHA 25, page 25 and 26. This is VA addendum. I go to the next one. 24 to 24 is counter two. This is counter one is page 23. So we're at 23, counter one. This is the disclaimer. So this is 20. Disclaimer. Page 19 is the confirmation of agency. We'll scroll up. This is a seller's disclosure that starts on page 14. And you can go either order. I like to kind of scroll down to figure out how many documents I need. And then I scroll back up. That way I don't have to like keep scrolling up and down. All right. So 14, seller's disclosure. Page 13 is a form by itself. That is the comp form. Comp. Now this is the contract ends on page two, this is purchase and sale agreement. And number one, pre-approval. I will hit split document. It will split. Every now and then, once in a blue moon, you might get a red X and it says, try again. All you gotta do is hit try again and it should go through that time. Hit done. And now it will load because it's created nine separate documents instead of one massive PDF. And you can see that everything is organized line by line into the separate documents. So now what you can do is click and drag these to the corresponding required placeholders. So that way you can submit for review. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's drag the PSA down here. I'm dropping it there, good to go. Seller's disclosure goes here. So I'm gonna take this, drag it here. I'm gonna take the confirmation of agency, drag it down here. I'm going to take the pre-approval. I'm going to put it here. And that should be good. But if you notice, before I submit for review, I want to double check everything. If you see here, I have a VA form right here, and I have another one right here. We don't want duplicates. We don't want one that's only signed by one party in the offer documents. We want the fully bound form. So we'll imagine that's this one. So we would go down here, three dots, and hit archive. And now this file should be good to submit for review.